begin with the head coach of the two-time defending Patriot League champions, now in his 10th year at American University. Again, coming off back-to-back -back appearances for the first time in school history in the NCAA Division I tournament, including a 24-8 overall record last year, matching the program's record for victories, including a 13-1 mark within the Patriot League. He was named the Patriot League Coach of the Year, and by his colleagues in the National Association of Basketball Coaches, the District 13 Coach of the Year. Jeff Jones from American University. A year can make a, a, a big difference. Um, losing all of those guys to graduation, certainly that's something that we're, we're, we're dealing with now. But in addition to, to those losses, we, we lost two assistant coaches uh, as, as well. So that, uh, I think, further compounds uh, some, of the, uh, some of the challenges that, that we face. Um, it is exciting, though. It's a, it's a different kind of challenge and, and a year that uh, I think uh, allows us as a coaching staff to maybe re-examine uh, some of the things that, that we do and look for ways that we can help our basketball team this year uh, to, to achieve its potential. Um, so far, we've, we've been very pleased with, uh, with the effort of our guys, but you know, we've got a long way to go. Baby steps, sometimes it's been one step forward and one step back, but I do think that we're getting better. Uh, I think for our basketball team, uh, the, the, the question uh, is, is not if, but when uh, we're going to round into shape and, and be a competitive uh, member of, of, of the Patriot League this season. Sure, from a transition, uh, personally, it's a family standpoint, but uh, it's, a, it's an amazing opportunity and I'm very excited to, to be at West Point and to work with this group of seven seniors at, at West Point. And I, talking to those guys through the process and as, as we meet uh, in and around practice, uh, these guys uh, have some high goals and I don't want this to be a season when people look back and say, yeah, that was the coach's first year. I want, it's still the senior year for these seven guys and I want to honor them appropriately and do what gives them the best chance to, to compete in this league. You know, it's, a, it's a great time to be at West Point. Some of the things in terms of the transition that have been helped make it uh, much smoother has been the, the entire assistant coaching staff, Kendrick Saunders, Jim Platt, Jeff Platt, uh, Sean O'Keefe, and even uh, our athletic intern, John Moonshower, have been terrific in uh, telling me what I need to know and what's important right away to learn uh, because West Point is a unique place uh, at the same time. Uh, seven seniors in terms of a transition. We've got veteran players, and uh, those two things make for a smoother transition than uh, other opportunities at certain times. Uh, it, was, it was a long year last year, a, a big transition, and I want to thank everyone in the league for how they welcomed our team when we arrived on the road, and hopefully we'll extend those same welcomes to Zach and Sean when they bring their teams uh, into our places. Uh, it's a big difference a year makes. Our guys are more familiar with me and, and our system. I'm more familiar with them. Uh, we, we've got our vast nucleus of our guys returning. We're excited about some of our new players. Uh, I don't know if we have a uh, first team all league player on our team, but I do feel like we have uh, good depth. We have eight or nine guys that we think on any given night could play pretty well. So we're, we're expecting to be much more competitive and uh, looking forward to a great season. Uh, I want to clarify that it's my 12th uh, season and not Kyle Romer's 12th season. You said. We're, we're a team that a year ago, uh, when we got to the Patriot League tournament, we were starting three freshmen, a sophomore, and a junior, uh, which is not very conducive to being successful. Uh, I was really proud of our team when we went out and won a quarterfinal game and, and got into the semifinals with that group of players. Uh, now you bring those guys back, and, and just as Dave alluded to, it takes a little while for everything to come together with young players. And with Romer coming back, and his leadership more than anything else, I mean, he's a, he's a great player uh, for us, average 16 a game as a junior, and, and really carried us to the Patriot League Championship game uh, against American in 2008. But just having him back and in the locker room makes a huge difference, uh, even if he doesn't score any points. Um, I'm thrilled to have a chance to coach this, this uh, group of young men that I have, you know, very uh, very talented guys, uh, some veterans certainly that returned from a team uh, that played uh, in that championship game last season. Um, you know, they have a, uh, a great competitive spirit, a great toughness about them. I think this group that we had, uh, you know, very competitive and anxious to play, not only that non-conference slate, uh, but certainly into this Patriot League schedule. Uh, I forget that I was in the NCAA. Uh, it's, been, it's been a while. Uh, by the way, I mean, um, 
they did not ask me whether I wanted to have Kyle Romer back in the league. Uh, and please tell Kyle that I was not one of the people that voted not to have him on the all-league team. Uh, Kyle averages about 37 points against the Leopards, so uh, I'm certainly well aware of, of, of Kyle. You know, I know we haven't been picked very highly. Um, I know the kids have tried to use that as a motivator. Uh, they've been working extremely hard this year uh, in practices. I think we're getting better, as everybody has said as they've got, gotten up here. That each day is uh, it's our uh, you know, goal to make them better as we move forward each day. And there have been some days that I've come out and been very encouraged, and there have been some days, as I'm sure all the coaches have, uh, where you're thinking, what what happened today? Uh, just looking for more consistency. Uh, you know, we look at last year, we were able to accomplish some pretty significant things. We were reminded two years ago, we had 10 freshmen and sophomores on our, on our squad. Very young team, very inexperienced team. Take it to last year, non-conference play, we played extremely well, had the best non-conference record in school history. Most road wins, for the non-conference play in school history. And then kind of faltered a little bit. Uh, unfortunately, we weren't quite as consistent as we needed to be. But I think we showed some glimpses of what we might possibly be capable of. With this rising senior class, this senior class of Marquise Hall, Zaire Carrington, Dave Buckberger, and even Matt Sheamus, who was injured this last year, we have four individuals who have really demonstrated a lot of leadership they really stepped up as far as being not only leaders by example, but also being very vocal in their activities and dealing with some other players and, and some of our younger roster players as well. So I'm really pleased to see that. The whole thing that we have to work on is maintaining that consistency and also sustaining some of our efforts so we can be solid on defense, continue to maintain our confidence and poise on offense, and really continue to progress. You know, We're here today with our captain. Chris Harris, I told Chris last week, in our um, six years that we've been together as a staff, I can't remember a player playing at the level uh, that Chris has been playing at since we reformed in school in August through our preseason and our first few weeks of practice, and he's truly playing at a very, very high level. But the way that we, besides praying, the way that we replace a guy like Cleo Keaton is you just hope people when they get their opportunity, step up, and, and I'm confident that at the Naval Academy, we've got guys ready to do that. Uh, you go through 15 games to kind of find out who you are as a group, and then you get ready to play in 14 league games that are as competitive as any conference in the country. And I think sometimes what gets lost upon uh, media members and, and even our own selves as coaches is, yeah, we have great student athletes. I mean, we have quality student athletes, and we have great coaches, and, and that is true. Uh, but the quality of basketball that is played night in and night out in the Patriot League in terms of competitiveness of games and the few possessions that it comes down to and the difference between a regular season being, you know, 13-1 and one or 8-6 and six or 4-10, and 10, it, it literally comes down to a matter of very few possessions. And